Large language models are most often used for conversational tools such as chatbots, but it's their ability to generate structured outputs that makes them valuable for machine learning. With structured outputs, LLMs can generate data in organized formats like JSON and table formats, adhering to schemas specified by users for integration into workflows. Structured outputs are still in their infancy, so AI libraries and packages can often be inconsistent and prone to errors. But if you have the patience to refine them, they will revolutionize how you build AI and machine learning workflows, providing a competitive advantage. This short tutorial will show you how to parse financial news headlines into structured outputs using open source AI tools and models, including Olama and Meta's Llama 3.2. Based on the specs of your computer, you should be able to run this model locally. Alternatively, you can download through Olama a less computationally heavy model. The concept for this financial news tutorial is that some news articles are about the future, while others are about the past. For instance, future-looking financial articles discuss predictions and forecasts about stock trends, while past-looking articles discuss what has already happened. In the case of financial sentiment analysis, we might care only about future-looking articles that tell us about bearish or bullish sentiment. With LLM models and structured output, we can effectively filter out past-looking articles and create a measure of stock sentiment based only on forecasts and predictions. We will do this by explicitly asking the LLM to identify not just the sentiment of the news headline, but also whether it includes future-looking insight. The structured output can be in whatever data type we would like, but in this tutorial, we will ask it to return a Boolean, that is, true or false. To get the code running, you first need to go to the Olama website and then download and install the latest version. Open up your command prompt or terminal and type Olama run Llama 3.2. This will install the Llama 3.2 model to your computer. Once installed, keep your command prompt or terminal open so that Python will be able to access the model. Now open a new terminal and install these libraries into a Python environment. Olama, Pydantic, Pandas, and GNews. Then switch over to a code editor, create a new Jupyter notebook, and import the libraries. We're going to start by pulling news headline data with the GNews library. First, we'll initialize the library by creating an instance of GNews, and then we'll fetch the latest articles about NVIDIA using the getNews method. The returned news object includes titles, dates, and links to the articles, but what we care about are headlines. So we'll use a list comprehension to extract the titles of the first six articles and save them to a list called news titles. With the data prepared, we can now set up the LLM model and our structured outputs. We begin by defining a pedantic base model called news analysis, which will be the structured output schema. We'll include two fields, sentiment, which will take a string value, and future looking, which will take a Boolean value. The plan is to have the LLM loop over each news headline title and then conform its response into the base model fields that we created. So to do this, we start by initializing an empty list named results to store our analysis outcomes. We then iterate over each title in the news titles list with the following procedure. First, we use the chat function from the Olama package, creating a response object that holds the user prompt in a dictionary. This specific prompt explicitly tells the LLM model to classify sentiment based on three output options and identify future looking headlines based on true or false Boolean options. I use an F string here to insert the headline directly into the end of the prompt. We next set the model into the model argument and set the format argument to take the base model name with a JSON schema for output. The chat function runs, saves to the response object, and then we parse the response object with the model validate JSON function to ensure that the output is structured based on our pedantic base model schema. The next chunk of code appends the results from each loop iteration to the results list, adding the title, sentiment, and future looking indicator. And then we convert the results list to a data frame. So let's take a look at the results. We see that we now have a tabular data set with our structured outputs. The first few article titles are definitely future looking headlines, and the model classified them correctly. The fourth and fifth articles seem accurate, but the final article should actually be marked as true for forward looking. Remember that LLM models are still experimental and prone to error, 
so some level of human validation is needed. What's most important here is that we have turned text data into structured tabular features that could now be integrated into a machine learning pipeline or analysis. I plan on making more tutorials on the newest AI and machine learning tools. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel and the Deep Charts newsletter.